A wave of political and social unrest is sweeping South America. Venezuela has already been in turmoil for years, but in the last four months, presumably stable countries have erupted, leaving death, anger, and political instability in their wake. A very small elite, oligarchic elite, has held power, and it has done so with extreme violence through history. So that's part of Latin America's tradition. So when pe people rebel, they rebel violently. First came Ecuador, where a steep rise in the price of fuel was the last straw. An uprising led by indigenous Ecuadorians brought the government to its knees. Then Bolivia, where rage over President Evo Morales' insistence on claiming victory in an election marred by indications of fraud led to his forced resignation and ongoing unrest. But by far the biggest surprise has been Chile, considered an oasis of political stability and an economic model for the region. Anger over social inequality, demonstrations, human rights violations by security forces, looting and vandalism have brought the country to the verge of recession in less than two months. Here in Chile, the protests show no sign of abating. In fact, they are turning out to be an inspiration in other Latin American democracies, where dissatisfaction with the economy and the political status quo have long been simmering. Colombia, which has a similar free market economic system, is beginning to look like a copy of Chile, aggravated by already existing violence by drug traffickers, left and right wing rebel groups, and a peace agreement with FARC rebels that has collapsed amid charges of government sabotage. The largely uncontrollable uprisings and the weak response from democratic governments threatens more than social order. Well, I think there's a threat to democracy in, in Latin America. Uh, so that we have to make all efforts to uh, ensure that this uh, social mobilization, these protests, in, even riots, don't end up again in authoritarian or dictatorial regimes. Inequality isn't new, but what is, is a region-wide awareness that people of all social classes have rights to decent social services and salaries, to live in a democracy free of abuses and widespread corruption, and most of all, the right to take action. There's little doubt that credible political institutions and a recalibration of the region's economic priorities can't wait. Postponing them could have unforeseen consequences. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.